Hey, what's going on guys? Hovis here, bringing you guys today top 5 most wanted awareness perks in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This is me going by personal preference, this is also me going by YouTube comments that have been left in my previous videos from before. People from my live stream on Twitch.tv, if you don't know what that is then the links are in the description below. I usually stream on a daily. But yeah, this is just piece personal preferences, people who I know in real life what they would like to see. I'm also going from old games as well and putting maybe a new perk together as well. Put two new perks together which I think would be really beneficial for um, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. If you don't get any of it, what I'm trying to say in this video, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll try and uh, walk it through you and maybe commenting it on you, basically writing it to you. Sorry about that, I got a nice little tweet there. But yeah guys, sit rep, um, obviously for Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, where like, it shows you where the perks are on the map, sorry not perks, sorry, equipment are on the map, and I think that would be really good and beneficial for people who are quite wary of like when they're playing running around the map as well. And obviously if you're running around playing Search and Destroy and you run into a Claymore, you're obviously going to say a few things in your mind and might scream out loud, I know I would. If I got killed by bouncing Betty just sitting in the corner whilst the guy's laying there, why why no scope here? It, you know, see if equipment through walls is amazing. But obviously, a pro side of that perk as well, which I would love to see, would be like um, seeing scavenger packs on the floor, like actually seeing them. I know you do see them, but with Sit Rep Pro, maybe it highlights them on the map, so not on the map on the ground, where it highlights them like a, an illuminous blue or an illuminous green or yellow where it just lights up properly on the map, say if you're in a dark room and you can't see it, because scavenger packs are usually blue, and blue on dark, and a, a dark scavenger pack, you can't really see the floor. Sometimes I've missed them in pure daylight, believe it or not, when I just wanted the scavenger pack. Perk two would be amplify, uh, you know, sound whoring basically, so beneficial for people who have Astro Gaming headsets mainly, due to the fact that like turtle beaches and stuff, and they're not majorly made for gaming, I don't think, or well, they are, so don't get me wrong, but for sound whoring they're not, in all honesty, Turtle Beaches were mainly made for like just hearing game sound really and um, the bass boost. Back in the day, this was ages ago, so years before Astro Gaming headsets came out. I might have contradicted myself there about gaming headsets and audio and stuff, sorry about that. But yeah, Astros were mainly made for sound whoring in all honesty. They were made for like the competitive side of gaming, which I think is really good. So if you have an Astro Gaming headset, you would just amazing basically hear footsteps and stuff. A new perk I thought of, like called a Death Radar. So if I killed you, on the map, say in a room where there's four floors, it pinpoints where exactly where your teammate died, like on the third floor, let's say, and you know, it just shows that they died in that room. Sometimes you just don't notice on the radar where Bob died and stuff. You don't, not everyone looks at their radar. Like, I usually look at my radar, and if I see a teammate die behind me, I will automatically turn around, literally, mainly. I just talk, aim around, turn around, see if he dies, and I'll have a check if so and so is there. Sometimes he's not. So that'd be perk three. Perk four would be blind eye. That perk speaks for itself. I'm not even gonna talk anything about this perk. You know, blind eye so you hide away from kill streaks and stuff like aircraft and stuff. That'd be very beneficial for people who are quite wary of and playing against really good players and that just might get destroyed maybe. That's happened to me a few times, I'm not gonna lie. New perk as well, I thought of which would be called the kill streak indicator. Like from World at War, say if I was on a five kill streak, it'd pop up on the screen. The Hovis man is on a five kill streak. The Hovis man is on a ten kill streak. The Hovis man is on a fifteen kill streak. It would go up in fives on World at War. I know it does that on, on Call of Duty Ghosts as well, but maybe it, if it does it in Advanced Warfare, it'd be really beneficial for them people who would like to destroy players like myself and get on my nerves. Anyways, guys, you've been amazing. Peace out and take care.